All right, all right, first and foremost, I would like to give all the honors, the praises, the glory belongs to my Lord and Savior. His name is Yahweh by Sham, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Wahara Karkwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Son's name is Yahweh Shai. In who I reverence and honors to the apostles that have in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe. And to the few brothers and sisters listening and learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. This lesson is going to be based on the unclean frog. Okay. The unclean frog. Which is also, we're going to go into it. Bring it out. Get these scriptures. Go to Revelations. 16, Revelation 16 and 13. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Revelation 16 and 13. They ain't gonna stop these words. Oh no way. Your witches and warlocks, bro. You can send 20, you can send the whole, you can send the whole town of witches and warlocks. You're not gonna stop this truth. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to Revelations 16. Right? Revelation 16. And we're gonna jump straight to verse 13. And I saw three unclean spirits. Like unto frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon. Free. Right? I know I've brought this out before, but it's good that we keep bringing it out. Because you never know who's listening. You never know who's not listening. And it says, unclean spirits or free. So, it mentions free. Right? You have Washington, D.C. Right? Military complex. Actually, actually, military complex and where the laws come out of. Right, some say New York. And, right, check this out. The other one is London. London is an unclean frog. That's why there's so much unclean spirits around. That's why there's so much witchcraft. Right? That's unclean spirits. Like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon. And the dragon represents the beast, this beast system that we are living in right now. So most of the people, they're under some type of form of unclean spirit. Right? Come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast. Right? So this whole system is based on unclean spirits. And they can come in many forms, false doctrines, um, uncleanness, and so forth. Right? Which is a defilement. What's an unclean spirit? It's a defilement, right? And it says, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. So key thing, it says, out of the mouth of the false prophet. So the false prophet is who? Seven-day Adventist. Baptist, Pentecostal, um, Jehovah's Witness, a Methodist. All these are operating through what? The unclean spirits. All of them, right? Your churches, they're operating through unclean spirits. And it says, Baba Kisha, verse 14, for they are spirits of devils. So where are they getting their ideas from? Where are they getting these... Um, Motivation is from the devil. Okay. That's where they're getting it from. Working miracles. So there's also miracles being worked. Yeah, they're able to do this from the power of Satan, through the enemy. And it says working miracles because their enemy has miracles that he does. Satan, yeah, he's working miracles for a certain amount of time. All right. And it says which go forth unto the kings of the earth and the whole world to gather them to the great battle of the great day almighty right the great day almighty so the leaders guess who guess who they're being controlled for your leaders whether it's politicians leaders the people in society they're getting their ideas through the devil the devil is ruling them the devil is giving them ideas okay that's where that's coming from Okay. Fourth unto the kings of the earth. So the leaders of the earth, the kings of the earth, the presidents, princes, whatever you want to call them, they're operating through the spirit of devils through via deception. Okay. Deception. So is there anything else here, Baba Kisha? And we can back all this up. Quickly go to Thessalonians. Gonna go to Thessalonians quick. This is Thessalonians. Come on now. 
Thessalonians 1. Actually, go to 1 and... Where should we start? Where should we go to 2 and 9? Even him who's coming is after the working of Satan. The workings, the operations. How are they able to get ideas and do certain things? It's through yeah, Satan's dealing with them. The people that are in power. Okay. And it says, check this out. It's after the working of Satan with all power and science and lying wonders. Power, science, lying wonders. So the enemy, yeah, he works lying, excuse me, wonders upon the masses through different various means. Deception, tech, Project Blue Beam, whatever you want to call it. That's how they're working miracles. Mainly through tech, right, to deceive people. Okay, example, people can get a notification on their phone, oh, you have an individual, but he needs to be watched. That's people being deceived by tech, see, lying wonders. Right, so we went to that now, and remember, it said the mouth of the false prophets, which are the spirit of devil. So now let's go to Matthew's right 24. This is the spirit of deception, right? That Satan has deceived the masses. Matthew 24, and let's jump to verse 24 for there shall arise false anointed and false prophets, shall show great signs. It says great signs, false prophets. Because remember, the false prophets, they're operating through the spirit of devils. That's who's talking through their mouth. It's an unclean spirit that's talking through them. Right? And false prophets shall show, great, shall show great signs. Okay? Great signs. Right? And wonders. Okay? In so much that if it were possible, okay, Right, they shall deceive the very elect. So they were gonna show you great signs and wonders through what the spirit of devils. They're false prophets, right? So if they're false prophets, they need to give the illusion that they're, they're true prophets. Right? There's spirits behind everything. It's just where where do you um where do you fall upon them? Right? You have false prophets, you have righteous prophets. And it says if it were possible, they should deceive the very elect. The very elect. But it's not possible for them to do that. It's not possible to, for them to deceive the very It's not possible. Now, they can alter certain things around you. They can have people walking in circles, doing dumb stuff. It's not possible to deceive the very elect. Because the deceit is catered to the elect. Right? It's catered to the elect. That's why they need to... If you're of the hopeful elect, they need to change your settings and your environment that shows you're very powerful but anyways let's continue Baba Kishar. see what else we got yeah, these are lying spirits that have gone out into the earth right unclean spirits like frogs so now let's go to where should we go to where should we go to go to uh, is it kings or chronicles go to kings right. i like doing these type of videos as well hmm. So let's see if we can find it. Baba Kishar, would you bear me just a minute? Oh, we got something in Kings. Right? Ahab. Was it? Yeah, Ahab. And guess what? Ahab had, he had yes men around him. He, he had prophets around him, but these prophets were like yes men and they were deceiving him. Right, excuse me just a minute. Baba Kishar, Baba Kishar, Baba Kishar. So where was we? Where was we? Where was we? Hold on. I'm looking for something in Kings can't find it right now let me just pause this so here it is i found it so lucky about that this is chronicles right this is second chronicles 18 and jump straight to verse 18 and again he said therefore hear the word of the lord i saw the lord sitting upon his throne and all the hosts of heaven stand on his right hand and on his left and the lord yahweh said who shall entice who shall entice a harp king of israel so there's angels that are ready to do persuasion to persuade the minds of people right and so forth okay and it says Baba Kishar check this out who shall go right of Baba Kishar and who shall entice Ahab king Ahab king of Israel that right? he may go up and for that ram of Gilead and one spake saying after his manner and another saying after that manner when they came out of spirit 
and stood before the Lord Jehovah and said, right, Baba Kisha, I will entice him and the Lord Jehovah shall said unto him, wherewith? And he said, I will go out and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. Somebody said, all his prophets. So there was many. It wasn't one. Many, all. Ahab had about 400 false prophets by his side. Right? And the Lord Jehovah shall said, Thou shalt entice him, and thou shalt also prevail and go out and do even so. So this angel was commanded to entice who? Ahab. Commanded. So you got these witches and warlocks out here. Well, we're not considering. Remember? You're and this is another thing. You know these people that are out here now. While I'm doing this video, you got witches and warlocks. Guess what? They have the spirit, they have lying spirits upon them. You're not supposed to be afraid of a witch and a warlock. They have lying spirits upon them. They're being deceived, bro. Always keep that in mind. Right? They're being deceived by unclean spirits. And another thing, when you delve into any type of form of witchcraft, that is an unclean spirit. Right? Familiar spirit. Right? And it says, Baba Kishar, check this out. And it says, Now therefore, behold, I have put a lying spirit in the mouth of these prophets, thy prophets and the Lord have spoken evil concerning thee. So there was a lot of false prophets that what? The angels what? Were commanded to put a lying and persuasive spirit upon them. When Zedekiah the son of Chenaniah came there and smote Micaiah upon the cheek because Micaiah was a righteous prophet that was telling Ahab the things that were right but he didn't want to hear them. And it says, and said, which way went the spirit of the Lord from me to speak unto thee? And Micah said, Behold, I shall see on that day when I shall go into the chamber to hide thyself. So Micah was a righteous prophet that was telling Ahab what would happen and prophecy. And Ahab, he wanted yes men around him. That's why he had 400 and something false prophets around him. Okay. So, um, oh, Lord willing, this was edifying. And just know how these unclean, most of the people in this world, they're operating via unclean spirits. Unclean clean spirits okay lord winning this was edifying and until the next one shadow one